Turning to some stock market action now, the nation's benchmark index inched up today despite another big dip on Wall Street. This is partly thanks to a lower tax on transactions that took effect today. However, concerns linger over the U.S.-China trade war and a possible sign of recession from the bond market. Kim hye breaks down the digits for us. The benchmark Kospi rose Thursday by 0.8 percent to close at 2038.8. This rebound comes after the Kospi shed more than 1 percent in the previous session, bringing it to the lowest level since January. The bounce back was led by net buying from foreigners thanks to a lower stock transaction tax and better performance by Korean IT companies. But the rebound was limited as trade tensions between the U.S. and China are showing no sign of easing and because of concerns over global growth. U.S. shares fell sharply on Wednesday. The Dow Jones Industrial Average shed more than 220 points, or 0.9 percent. The S&P 500 lost 0.7 percent, and the Nasdaq 0.8 percent. This as U.S.-China trade tensions continue to weigh on stocks after Chinese state media suggested Beijing may slash exports of rare earth minerals, a key component in devices ranging from smartphones to TVs, opening another front in its trade war with the U.S. The trade conflict with Beijing could not only hurt the Chinese economy, but also the U.S. and the global economy, and Korea in particular, affecting intermediary goods and trade. The Trump administration's latest currency tariff threat is also a huge risk factor weighing on the global economy. The stock market will remain volatile for some time. Uncertainties over U.S.-China trade tensions and global growth led investors further into the relative safety of government bonds pulling down yields. The yield gap between the U.S. 10-year Treasury note and the three-month Treasury bill, often watched as an early signal of a pending recession, slid to a 12-year low of minus 13 basis points. The U.S. dollar rose for a third day versus its major peers, including the Japanese yen. Gold, another investor safe haven, climbed and oil retreated. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.